Alrighty guys, what's going on? It's Patrick Drake and today we got another video. Today we uh, had something interesting happen. We have a Cassiopeia main. Yes, he does play other champions. Has pretty high win rates and great KDEs on him. Most top players have great KDEs because all they do is play aggressive and go in and make game winning play. Um, so that's what I want to say about that. But basically, this guy got the rank one playing Cassiopeia and you can see in the last 40 games, he was on a 27 win. 13 lost streak with just playing Cassiopeia. Even I faced him, and I remember this game. This game pissed me off. Look at this. I was 6 1 and 4, and I lost because my support, my mid laner, and my top laner were bad. I literally died once. I mean, I actually did lost the game because of that one mistake, and it was my only mistake while my other teammates did six mistakes, five mistakes, and about eight mistakes, right? Anyways, I'm ranting about that game, but. This guy got to rank one, playing literally a lot of Cassiopeia and his other pocket picks, Pantheon and Kled. But I want to see his Cassiopeia because this champion, it's okay. If you actually look, it's got a 51% win rate. It's okay, right? It's not the, the highest, but still pretty good. We actually have Pobetra's perspective against this rank one player, Mr. Zaiku, and he's running Conqueror, Presence of Mind, Tenacity, Last Stand, Transcendence, Mana Flow, Health Runes, and CDR on the runes as well instead of Adaptive. And he runs a tier as well as a two health pot. So it's going to be interesting because we're seeing it from the enemy's perspective, which is going to be Pope out there. Uh, so it's going to be a very fun game to watch. Let's see how it works. This is going to be fun. Honestly, I could E-Flash, but like, nah. Pope Arthur did say that every time he plays aggressive, he gets pooped on. By the way, this guy has Ignite on Cassiopeia. He doesn't run... We rush booties. He doesn't run... Uh, go Mercs. Oh, that looks good. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't run uh that word. teleport, so he's playing to kill you. Right? Every every mid laner runs teleport. Nice. Oh Brom got the kill though. This guy runs ignite. So maybe going to ignite is the way to play getting, getting rank one. Notice how Viper's going uh going to ignite Riven top lane. Get yeah, blade sometimes goes ignite. I'm just saying aggression probably wins you games. As well as ma making the enemy FF at 15 minutes. So let's see this. Oh, that's 60 damage. Okay. How's he gonna land his next Q? Is he just look at this guy? He's playing like he's a Syndra. I don't think this guy Opera can't walk up. Or can he? I guess he can. Get scorched done, buddy. And nope. Yeah. Trade the CS for a Q. Interesting. So it's not the twin fang level one. If you can land your Qs, you're okay. Honestly, I think laning against this guy might be really like torture. Look at this. He predicts your movement because he, he goes for the last hits, right? So you either give up a last hit. <laughs> so you either give up a last hit. Oh, wow. I died still. Damn. Oh. Wow, he's super fucked. Okay, I have TP back. Boots? I guess you got to build boots in this matchup. Oh, close. No Aptome. Dude, his wave is super screwed. Because uh, he played very aggressive there, right? He was winning, and then I don't know what his happened. He's pretty bad. He still has flash. Oh, he does have flash. Interesting. Huh. Popo, yeah, Popo, play, he got like pooped on early and now it's all it's all denied because he got whatever that happened. But anyways, so this guy is, I mean, this guy is super screwed. Psycho is super screwed. He, not super screwed, but like, you know, I don't know if he can get plates here. Yeah, there's not much we can do. I'm actually surprised he doesn't go for a ward and then rejung or something. Maybe he already did put it down his ward. We don't know, right? But you can see every, uh. Every minion that a Pope Walter goes for, he does contest. This is how you play perma aggressive. If you can hit, oh no, that. What are you doing, Monkey Man? Monkey Man, what are you doing? You're. Why are you doing this? Why are you oh. throwing the game? Why oh are you throwing? I think this guy is dying. You just threw. You just gave him red buff. Now he's back in the game. Monkey oh, Man. No, this guy got free kill and red buff. Why would you do that, oh, Monkey? No, he got free stackies too. Yo, monkey That's man. Your team is four and one. Just chill. 
you know, or get your items and then and then and then do something. Oh man, Popo is actually CSing with his Q. It's actually not looking really good for him because bra moment. Yeah, I, I mean honestly, I think he has to because he can't contest cast CP with red buff, right? Q auto E auto Q. You know what I mean? Uh, okay, let's watch. Ah, this is so hard. Gets a cannon. Gonna pot up? No, he doesn't need pot up. You there? He is maxing E though on Cassiopeia, so do note that he wants to trade with them with the uh, Qs, but he's gonna actually play more passive a little bit now. You can tell because his wave is pushing into him, and he doesn't want to risk anything. And he has flash also, but uh, you know, could be a lot of. Uh... I mean, he's he's already got himself a lead. All he needs to do is back. He doesn't need to. He doesn't need to risk anything, you know what I mean? But he can trade. Oh, no charm, eh? I think he's gonna. I'm actually surprised, no charm. He wants to push this wave in, but I think he wants. Yeah, I know what he's gonna do. He's gonna push this, and what he wants to do is hold his charm, because this... if this guy chases you down with. and you have no charm. Can I really pull this lane? Yeah, I guess you can. Um, This condition is pretty bad. Hmm. I think Sorry. this is not great for him. Yeah, I mean, basically, hmm. He's going to miss most of the CS anyway if he bases. Okay, now he's stuck. I missed one wave, but I have Giga Pressure when I'm back. That's not bad. Yeah, like, what I'm... Hmm. I mean... Yeah, he's, he's confused. He doesn't know what to do either. He's like, oh, I fucked my wave. Okay, now, now, now I'm in a good spot. I'm going to be six here. His wave is shit. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I pull both there. All I want to do is push in that wave. Um, that's why he held his charm, which is, makes sense. The Cassiopeia is in a horrible spot, but he has to back here. I'm so I'm gonna pull the wave and bleed him. Okay. Yeah, I guess this wave is gonna be pulled into Pobalter. So it's gonna push into him, by the way. So if a gank can come. Oh, what the heck? Cassio has two kills. This is not actually. So Popolter actually loses this lane um, right about now because I think he has a bigger back than he does. So he has to wait for a jungle gank. And yeah, he has to wait for a jungle gank if he actually wants to want to run him or poke him down. But we'll see. Oh. Yeah, that's my camera. Looking good. Okay. And let's see. What does he have? I think I saw a lost a rod of ages a last last chapter. This is a very okay. Gets a charm, little poke coming in. Nice, gets a full combo. Now this Caspia does not care though, cause he He's still dangerous for full filter. Yeah, he has to use his spells to actually survive. So yeah, like I said, very dangerous. Yeah, Mari's cool or like her mana costs. I, I swear. Oh, what the f- His W cost is, is 30 mana? This guy's still pressuring him under turret. Oh, what the f hell? Oh yeah, he has no charm. Oh, oh. oh bro. Yeah, wait, can he kill him here? Wait, no. No, he can't. That was a bad trade, but I don't think he can Looks kill like him. there's someone over the wall here. Alright, let's see. Catalyst. Oh my god. Yeah, this- He's gonna get his plant, come back to lane. He wants to still lane, obviously. He doesn't want to back here. But if he gets a plant, then that's actually really good for him. It looks like he... Oh. I have to press R, really? Sad. Yo, why not just... Can you not, like... I don't know. I guess R him and then Probably Q. Can't contest. I don't know. I guess it's fine because he took a back. And if he doesn't object it right now, he uh, has no R on RE. So it looks like a good contest. If he doesn't eject him, maybe. Never mind, I lied. Nice, I think we kill. Never mind, I lied. <laughs> he cannot. By the way, the top lane matchup, uh, Gragas versus... It kind of seemed like he wanted to base. Yorick? Uh, Yorick wins. Can I deny a plate here? I can. He'll never have... Oh, nice. Well, wow. denies a plate. Uh-oh. Oh, he got another freebie from my jungler. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I was just gonna say, so Gragas can never kill York unless he gets a gank, although it's 
the uh, Nautilus gank. Wait, sorry. You killed Wukong Kong is too? really is good. This good? It's a plate. But I don't know. Pull both are. Being dead. I'm not too sure. I guess we should be looking at the Casa Pia's perspective, which we might get later. Yeah, we'll, we'll actually edit this video a little bit. See what happened up there. Okay, it's fine. This will be a good video to edit. To do it uh, right after, too. Alright, let's see. Popo's is going for, for a. Uh... Zillion six. Oh, they have no ults. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Oh, 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 kill. Oh, I think he's dead. Yeah, someone, someone's dead. His name is still a star? Not surprising. Ow. Oh, I just. Oh, someone's dead. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, this guy is just getting funneled. I, I, I am also just shocked he walked to river killed our jungler over full vision and walked top and killed our top that's pretty crazy because our wukong is playing sides instead of connecting mid but it's fine i just deafen and try to carry oh, okay take notes i could carry this game i could beat that cast no i couldn't i lost i was playing nocturne right and i lost even though I killed him 5,000 times camping mid for my shitty mid laner, really still died. Isotopia. Okay. Sorry, that, that game pissed me that lot. I played that game recently. It made me mad that I lost. Because my support and uh, mid laner got garbage gapped. And my top laner, me. Oh, uh, no, my God. I, I don't get it. He's literally just hand feeding him. He's literally just feeding him. I don't want to watch this anymore. I don't want to watch this Wukong, please. He gives me depression. He pisses me off to the point where I don't want to watch this. Fuck this Wukong, man. He suck. Guys, just, I mean, I, I, I have to agree with Paul out there. Getting handed freebies like We're crazy. We're never gonna kill this guy unless we have like three people or four. He's way too accelerated. <laughs> we do need three people. His rod of ages, probably a Saras at this point. He's got everything, man. Well, at least we have two Drakes. Yeah, Gragas is getting pooped on. I told you he won't ever win that matchup. Wukong, you need a Merc Treads. Gonna need a Merc Treads. Oh, I bet this Wukong has a uh, MR. I want to check. I bet he's gonna have a single MR room. Oh my god. Rod of Ages and Rylai's. Oh, both there barely has his first item. I think he has it though. Yeah, can't walk up. Look at him. He's respecting the shit out of this guy, and you really should. Cause he, like, look at his cast AP. He can do can't this. Really do shit. He's farming. It's actually pretty good. Both are smart, man. And he's out farming him. But I mean, he's also uh, <laughs> got roamed and got a bunch of kills, and somehow. Uh, yeah. Yikes, it works. And I think he's dead. I bought oh, wait, cast is not even roaming to this one. Oh Jesus, they have a zillion too. Yeah, this cast is gonna be very annoying. Look at this. Ooh, he has to burn the ultimate. Does he really die if he gets hooked? I guess he does, yeah. I mean he knows. Ooh, okay, Cassie is push or er, roaming here, so he gets a free push. Very, very smart, very smart. And I mean, <laughs> I think they're all dead, by the way. They they overstayed. Is 
This is such an insane game. Well, I mean, at least it's just one guy with literally all the kills. Oh, uh, I don't know. This looks. This is looking pretty fresh, frickety fresh, right? This is looking freaky pretty fresh. Ah. Yo, I don't know what they're gonna do against this guy, man. He's two items. Everyone is one item. He doesn't have to buy boots. Technically, he's actually up on boots, so... I don't know, man. Braum... Who's gonna land autos on this on this Cassiopeia, right? I don't think anyone is. And this Cassiopeia is gonna contest every single objective. Zillion alt to make sure she's alive. And Nautilus to CC. Ew, ew it's AP Nautilus. I'll be honest, if I was at Nautilus and I saw a Cassiopeia, I would just go full tank. That's really troll. Although I kind of like it. He does have Aftershock. I will agree there. So. Not sure what I'll say there, but it's okay. Okay, has to give up tower. Dude, this, yeah, but what there's literally... He has to play like this the whole time, man, because he can't, <laughs> can't contest him. He can, like, push the wave, but he... Yep, Cassie's there first, like... Uh-uh, son. Uh, oh. Okay, yeah, you know he's playing this really well? Because he's ignoring the Cassiopeia. Look at that. He, he ignored the Cassiopeia the whole fight. You know how insane that is? And he gets a trippy dippy? Uh-oh. Now she's legendary. He's gonna kill her. This York is running our top laner too. Oh my god, what's going on? Trippy dippy, bro. What's going on? Oh, uh, this looks horrible. Yeah, I told you guys at the beginning of this video, right? York smashes the fuck out of your uh, Gragas. Gragas can never kill him without a gank. Because uh, York heals from his Q. And at level 6, how can Gragas ever trade? And also, he's just stuck in the W pit. Uh, yeah. He gets kind of stuck. And those minions... Oh, by the way, the ghouls, he can't kill because uh, he's Gragas. So... Any any mage into uh, actually York is a really good anti mage uh, AP champion. He's good at the Vlad top I think too because of his W. Good at the cannon, and he's good at the Gragas. It's really weird because they won't ever burst him and he'll just heal. And once their burst is done, he's done. He's also good into tanks I think because he does hybrid damage. Very bad at the Bruiser though because they can just out bruise him. Uh, unironically, unironically can out bruise him. Think about it, Camille. Yeah, voltage, yeah. yeah, they can also zone them. So, pretty interesting stuff. All right, so got a problem here. Got a huge problem. Uh, where's Cassiopeia? There she is. Oh my God! What items does she have? And she's, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. The only threats are Nautilus and Cassiopeia. Oh, I, to, oh. I got exhausted. Wow. Nope, they're going for this. They're going for this. Uh, are they? I can't tell. The fuck? They really wanted that. Oh, fuck. Their wave is all the way over here. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm learning is there's a very aggressive Cassiopeia. Oh, pick him up. Oh, that's it. There it is. Did I say this is why I kept telling you guys the more aggressive a player is, uh, the more likely he's going to win games, make the game winning play, and also just get the snowball the game out of control and get you to get the rank one. Like. That's just how it is. The more aggressive you play, and if then we can't react to it, or you know, aren't prepared to react to your all-in, you know your champion well, 
we'll get the rank one or calendar wherever you want so i think maybe playing dumb aggressive and not giving a crap about who's on the map is bad but um you know playing smart aggressive is really good so if you know where the jungle is you know where the support is you can do whatever you want also if your champion is 1v9 literally every game hey probably a good pick and i think he goes ignite literally every single game i'll check right now every game is ignite there's no game where he doesn't go teleport or cleanse it's ignite straight up every single game i i've been scrolling down oh he goes ghost once he went ghost once is there a teleport oh every oh there's one teleport team fight out of 60 games it's kind of unkillable but there's one teleport anyway yeah there's one teleport and one ghost game but it's usually ignite so guys go ignite if you want to climb stop being a pussy and going teleport and playing the game properly the game is not proper Can we get cast i baited them no you use the cc no 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 you okay nice, okay you got her okay i was gonna say dude you use the cc uh huh it works dude he's so fast i don't think i can reach Uh, yours? York is not like ending the game, right? Okay, I don't know what's happening. I guess we can't get Varen. We got the shutdown. Wukong got it. Hmm. Okay, what happened there? Zillion flashed, Nautilus flashed. Dude, he died. He still has 800 gold bounty. Oh one. my god, what am I watching? I don't know. This is. Uh, I think Gragas, you need to be here. I don't know. I think just. This is looking very bad. Okay, it's looking better. Really? Gragas no one's gonna TP. contest this? No, no, no. Okay, good. Looking good. Now it's looking bad. Alright, just all the fuck out. Fuck this. Maybe just running. Yeah, I'll be honest, I think Gragas needs to TP and just bolt the hell out. Get it done over with and then just, you know, secure it. Make sure that doesn't happen. Hey, look, the the Baron uh, started getting shredded. Book. If I die once, this game is just GG anyway, so. Here's a bounty. Wow, Pulther, he has a bounty. And so is our top lane. Super good pick, Gragas. Or I think he counterpicked his ass. Gragas and then pick Yorick. Uh, honestly, I actually... If that top laner was my top laner, the Yorick, and he got that counter pick, and he saw Gragas pick, I actually recommend. He's a good player. Like people will try and pick, like I don't know, some kind of Bruiser Camille into Gragas. I have no idea. They try to like, yeah, I'm gonna gap this top laner. Sure no, just pick Yorick, man. You trade. auto win whatever you do. You gonna die five thousand times. You'll auto win the lane. It was very smart top laner. He won the game by. Even if he didn't out mechanic him or do whatever, he out he out champed him and he outsmarted him. So there you go. Being a words. stupid ape with good mechanics doesn't do better than having a brain. Hey guys, where's your support? Okay. Oh, yeah, uh oh. No, we'll call. Uh, that was the worst brum out ever. Oh, what okay, the fuck? You got Yo, bro, okay, guys, uh... Okay, guys, I'm gonna Maybe say this. this. What the f Wow, that guy had an insane bounty, what the fuck? So, I like... Here's the thing. The brawl mount is actually complete... It's good and bad. The Zaya is one item. Okay. It's a one item Zaya, right? Let's uh, keep note of that. He altered the Zaya, the half ass AP Nautilus. It is a full AP Nautilus. There's only one item, too. And maybe a Zillion. I have to recall here. Not the three item cast. 
If I am playing support, <clears throat> if I am playing a Mumu, guess who my eyes are on the whole team fight? It's going to be Cassiopeia. I don't care. I know he's going for like a three-man ulti and trying to hit like, like Zaya, Zillion, and Nautilus, but who cares, man? If you CC that Cassio, she's not doing DPS. She can also get crashed down and yeah. Um, <clears throat> also, MR is really good this game, if you haven't noticed. I, I actually, there's also, <laughs> there's also Mr. Uh, Yorick in the top lane, right? So, I, he's just going to be splitting, so... Helios, you're the one who is going to have to handle him with Gragas CC. But, uh... It's not looking pretty. He is still very hard. Oh, we'll still get outscaled by Yorick Mori. And Cassiopeia looking very should, da should, should dangerous. Oh shit. They don't see him though. They don't see him. Please land CC only on Cassio. Cassio. Ah, uh, Cassio. Okay. I don't know if we're going to win playing like that, guys. Because I have two items now. Okay, now I'm she does. Now she's actually thing? kind of a threat. Ah, uh, this is so bad. I think I'm dead. He's dead. Yeah. They're all dead. They're all fucking dead. They're all fucking dead. GG. I, I think he was desperate. No, that Wukong played so bad. What the hell? Unlucky. That Cassio or that Wuk who That team fight looks so bad. Any monkey would know I should go and cat. I don't know what happened there, but. Oh! Oh, monkey! Oh. Oh. Damn, we would have wiped them if my team played slower there, too. Well, I guess that's it, guys. That is the rank one Cassio. He just straight up gets free kills. Because <laughs> everyone's a stupid idiot and feed spoon feeds them. Even when their bot lane goes like. Like 10 and sorry, zero and like 10. Uh, I guess, I don't know. Very aggressive, Cassio. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Peace out. Oh, wait.